<laughs> Good to okay. see you. Thank you for having us again. Pleasure. Pleasure. Mila and I <laughs> are excited to be here. Hello, Mila. Okay, you want to see it on me, Mila. That's it. Sit. That's it. Sit. Stay. Oh, this is sweet. <laughs> I think he feels your vibrations. He feels really relaxed. Very calm vibrations. By the way, tell us about vibrations. How vibrations. certain frequencies influence oh, our he feels life. Like. How can I put it? Um, oh, uh, everything vibrates at a particular frequency. Sure. So everything has a... Um, so for example, um, the reason why we perceive this table as solid um, and we don't see it in its real state mm. is because the table and our environment and us are vibrating at the same frequency. Okay. The reality at the moment in this room is that there's it's just a, a, a energy flowing from flowing through the whole the whole um, um, you know there's atoms flowing through here through through all of us this energy being exchanged but how we vibrate <coughs> creates this reality and even though the table is made of atoms that at one moment are solid and the next moment there are waveforms so they're going from matter to wave and fluctuating we perceive it as solid because of how we're vibrating so okay. so reality is an observed experience it's not it's de it's dependent on how we see it so mm -hmm. so when you meditate for example one of the things that you can do when you meditate is you alter the vibration you you enter a different vibration so so consequently you open yourself up to to feeling that that, that everything is interconnected and everything is interacting with, it, with, with one another. So, for example, your body is configuring into this body and my body is configuring into this body, not because of how we vibrate here, mm -hmm. but because of how we, our energy interacts with everything else. Okay. So, so <clears throat> our body is being in this form is completely dependent on how it's interacting with everything around and the whole universe. Otherwise, the atoms wouldn't configure into this form and we wouldn't exist in, in the way that we're existing. So, everything vibrates. So, so your food has vibration, your plants have vibration, the sun has a vibration, and the, the sunlight, as it hits you, vibrates and it creates. And everything is sort of frequencies and vibrations that are affecting us in different ways which is why chanting can be really effective as a form of relaxation or or you listen to certain vibrations if, if you want to open the third eye you can listen to recordings that have been made about how to open the third eye if you want to repair your dna you can go to youtube you can find lots and lots of this stuff you know yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, particular and so frequencies right yeah so particular frequencies affect different parts of the body in different ways so for example you can the, if, again if you go to youtube you can see how how um, at times you can you can put a um a piece of sand and you can put two um uh, speakers yeah. and you can create a certain sound or a certain vibration the sound will configure into a particular pattern or to a particular form or you can use a different sound frequency and if there's water it will send the water into a particular shape or a particular way of doing things so there's lots of ways in which sound frequency vibration is constantly affecting our experience and because these are hidden things because these are not things that we see or we feel we we don't kind of understand how they affect us we, we don't really it's it's not like you know when, when if I do this to you, mm -hmm. you know how it affects you because you're yeah. feeling it, you know. Yeah. But if a, if something vibrates through you, if a sound frequency vibrates through you, you can feel it, but it's not the same. So it doesn't register that it's affecting you in the same way. So you can feel and you can notice if you are in connection with yourself, right? Oh, absolutely. You can feel the absolutely. different kind of frequency that oh this is this makes me feel um, I don't know sick or sick. bad or yeah. but first you have to be in connection with yourself. Yeah so right. so you, you can do that through many mm. different practices, meditative practices, relaxation practices, uh, you know 
<laughs> hypnotherapy. There's lots and lots and lots of ways in which you can get into a state of deep relaxation and and deep connection mm -hmm. with yourself, you know, and, mm -hmm. and uh, all of those practices. But you can do that through vibrations itself. Okay. You know, you can listen to a piece of music that, that is really peaceful and it just relaxes you and relaxes you and relaxes you until you actually mm -hmm. connect with your own essence and you, you're in your heart center, for example. Um, <clears throat> you know, different, different ways, you're affected by, by, by your universe in different ways. And because we have to live in it, we don't, we don't process everything that affects us. And so we can be affected, you know, even... It's impossible, I think, even to notice. No, because you see... So much information. Exactly, because one of the things that tends to happen with us is we automate behavior. Mm -hmm. Because um, that's, and, you know, some people explain it that if, if you imagine that the subconscious mind, you know, your subconscious, mm -hmm. which is, which you can also see is your body, because your mm -hmm. body, you're not conscious of the fact that your heart is beating. Yeah. You're not conscious of the fact well, that you're beating. Well, if you put a focus on it, then of course. Yeah, but the first breath is conscious, the second is subconscious. The first heartbeat is conscious, the second is subconscious. So we spend the first few years of our life just automating processes mm -hmm. that we are, that we are, that it is said because we can't kind of prove it that we are initially conscious of, but then they become subconscious practices. And there's many, many, many different forms of behavior that become subconscious. This, was, this is what psychology and all the therapies that yeah. I'm into all look into. What parts of your life have you automated and what patterns are operating in your life? And those patterns are frequencies and they operate in in energetic fields or, you know, in, in, in all kinds of ways. And so we're constantly affected by different flows of energy, different mm -hmm. frequencies in a variety of different ways. And we can use this in a positive way, we can, we can, we can understand it, we can understand that what we eat has a frequency and it affects us in different ways. And, you know, and this may influence our life, like to to direct it to the better, to healthier, to more po positive, maybe attitude with all these frequencies. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, laughter affects us. Oh, you know, you, uh, one of the highest frequencies, right? Then yeah, you know, and uh, and uh, you know, one of the reasons why why um, um, you know people get so emotional with. With, when they fall in love mm -hmm. and they have this deep connection with someone and say the relationship ends, I think it's one of the things that causes the most suffering on the planet. You know, wow. in all cultures and religions, when you're in love with someone and that person says no more. Yeah. You know, or that person dies. You know? And, 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 and those emotions are vibrations that we are connecting to because we are experiencing things in a particular way mm -hmm. and they can cause, you know, depending on what's happening, they can cause ecstasy or they can cause mm -hmm. complete and total yes, pain, yeah. you know, and, and that's an area where we feel the effect of, of those emotions and those vibrations more powerfully than in other areas, sure. you know, but um, in terms of, so if you get back specifically to things like sound, you know, or for example, the, the, the freak, the, you know, everything has a, a, a sort of a, a vibration. So for example, um, I'm very bad with names, but there's this Japanese scientist who did a lot of research with water. Yeah. And yeah. I can't remember his name and I know it, but it's, you know, it'll come back tomorrow, but that's, <laughs> that's me and names. Yeah, we'll put it on <coughs> the, yeah, and he did this whole video below in the information field. Yeah, yeah, and he did this whole experiment with water where, where he put basically the word love, for example, on a glass of water. Sure. And then he looked at the molecular structure that was formed from the vibration or the frequency of that. And it was this, you know, these beautiful shapes, all so sort of yeah, symmetrical. Have and you the, tried doing something like in your life, using well, those Yeah, I, 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 use, I use water, for example, uh, as a protection mechanism. Okay. So, so when I'm working with people or in, in my environment, they usually, mm -hmm. not today for some reason, but I usually have a glass of water and usually that glass of water, I kind of bless and I 
and they are asked for that glass of water to absorb all the negative energies that come into our environment. What because do you do, just to remind everyone? I bless it. No, um, no, what do you do? What was your job? Oh, I'm a, a, a therapist, I suppose. I do, a I do psychic readings, palmistry, coaching, intuitive coaching, um, photography. Yeah. Oh, this is <laughs> <laughs> many, yeah. many hobbies and I do, all kinds of, I do all kinds of things. But it, it, in so so when I mean you can do this in your own working space, for example, people will come to you with negative attitudes, or people will call you on the phone with negative attitudes. Yeah. And normally, because we are water has been shown to be one of the most conductive materials. Yeah. And things travel through water really, really quickly. Sure. You know what happens is because we are, you know, eighty percent water. Mm -hmm. But in fact, we're more than that because the twenty percent that's solid is made well, of water anyway. Yeah, there are yeah. new like, discoveries and something. Yeah. yeah, so they reckon that we're ninety-eight yeah. percent water. Yeah, so <coughs> let's so see the the majority of our. Yeah, so let's water. say eighty percent, just for argument's sake. It means that the we are made of water, mm -hmm. and we 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 transmit through the water transmit those energies. Yes. So, for example, if you put the word love onto a glass of water, okay, okay, and then you drink it, mm -hmm. that vibration that you're drinking from that water will go whoo throughout the whole okay. of your body. You know, so there are people that say if you put your water in a blue bottle and again in the sunshine it will just cleanse it and raise the vibration of it and then if you use mm. that for drinking and for making tea you have a very you you, you you're encouraging health and well-being in your life you know? these are very good tips how to protect yourself and how to increase yeah the yeah yourself. you know salt is another one that is very good for protection you know that how you does the salt do salt, salt absorbs negative energy yeah you know, and so salt, salt is very good. I mean, if you want to clean the stains out of your cups, you use sugar or salt. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> salt is very cleansing yeah, in, 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 on many levels. You know, so so you know when we're talking about frequency, we're talking about so many different things. Yeah. When we're talking about vibration, we're talking about the, the thing is everything is vibrating, and everything is vibrating at different rates. And so vi the vibrational fields are impossible to get away from. Mm -hmm. And 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 you know, put your hand in mine. There is the 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 feeling. You you're feeling my frequency, my vibration. I'm feeling yours, and there's a, there's an experience there that's communicating, the same things that things are happening. And, mm -hmm. and and that's the simple level. That's you know, there are far deeper levels in which we can do that. When someone comes to you aggressively, or yeah, someone demanding yeah. something for you, or someone feeling. <coughs> hard done by you or <laughs> someone feeling that you've done something lovely for them. You know? All of those things are energy vibrations that we send out and that hit us and affect us in different ways and they affect our energy centers. So the different chakras, for example, which is one of the, the sort of um, Hindu systems in which mm -hmm. to explain re reality, mm -hmm. you know, they say that we have seven energy centers, there's Seventy two but physical the body. seven majors in the physical body, the root chakra. And each one of those has a particular vibration, a particular colour attached to it because the colour has a frequency and a vibration. And so and each one represents different parts of our being. And so when the, those experiences can hit us in the stomach, for example, or can hit us in the heart, or can hit us in the throat and the affect us if you know you know, so so vibration is something that is constantly um, affecting us and, 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 you know, when you go into altered states of consciousness, you, you alter your vibration, you alter your, your, your perception of reality. So the vibration and the frequency, if you like, are the, the way in which you interpret the reality that you're in. So you can get sick, you can <coughs> get illness with a low frequency mm. by listening, I don't know, is it either music or eating the low vibrational food or, yeah. or and then th at the same time you can increase Rihanna is a particular one makes you ill every time <laughs> <laughs> this is junk right Rihanna sorry this is junk we love Rihanna work 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 work, work. <laughs> I 
<laughs> seeing it all. Yeah, and you can influence your, um, but you can influence your health by high prevention yeah. to the music and everything. The other question that I wanted to ask you, and it was really interesting, we were just uh, talking with my friends about how recently people are more aware about how to love yourself. Yeah. How to get into because whatever you want to do, whatever you want to explore, everything starts from yourself. Mm. And uh, a lot of discussions there are, but like, how did you start? What can you advise? How to start I mean, you know, loving the, yourself? The Where to start? <coughs> like, how to connect with yourself? Mm. Well, first of all, you have to appreciate who you are. You know, most people have a, a, a very negative relationship with themselves. Mm, you know, yeah, I'm hurting, I guess. Mo most people are really self-critical. Most people are the, the worst enemy in one sense. You know, the, the, the worst critic. And, um, and a lot of the time, the, dial the internal dialogue that you have with yourself can be a really negative one. Why did you do that? Well, that was a stupid thing to say. You know, God, you know, you were wearing something that Obviously, people didn't like, and you don't even know if they did or not. Then they might have been looking at you, and you're going, "Oh, he doesn't like my green shirt. Why did I wear my green shirt?" I like those oh, white spots. I should, I should, <laughs> the white spots. The white spots must be giving you a headache. You know, what else? This is a good vibration. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> and you're having that internal dialogue, and, and usually, that internal dialogue is nothing more than than an internal dialogue. You know, and uh, and when you switch that off and you start changing the dialogue to, to, to one of appreciating who you are and mm. you know, red and green never to be seen. I love red and green. Mm. You know, and and uh, the different things that... So there's something there where you can um, start appreciating who you are in a, in a different way and start noticing the ways in which you depreciate yourself, sure. noticing the ways in which you criticize yourself, noticing the, the way in which you... you, you tell yourself off or tell yourself that something's wrong when it isn't necessarily... So stop, stop, <coughs> sorry, stop focusing on, on negativity 